Hello. Today we're going to look at Google Contacts Basics. My name is Hans Tolman, an instructor for Google 201, a PBVU course. Let's take a look at this video and see how all of these apps come together to make a workspace that lends to productivity. So that's just a quick representation of how all of these Google Apps work seamlessly together to help with professional and personal living. So let's explore Google Contacts. This is what it looks like. Over on the left you have your main menu where you can create a contact. You have your list of contacts with a number. You also have your organization directory. You also have a button that will merge or mix duplicates or, excuse me, merge or fix duplicates or problems in your contacts. You'll also have a list of labels, a place to import labels, a place to export labels, and you can also print labels. And again, you also have a search menu that is run by the Google search engine where you can search by name, school, email, or label. And then you have your contacts, a list of people that includes their names, emails, phone, and job title or company. Let's jump straight into the tasks. Today we're going to access and view our contacts. We're going to add a new contact. We're going to add contacts from our organization directory. And then we're going to create group contacts. And this video we will follow the protocol of I do, we do, you do. I will read the steps, then we can model together, and then you will do it on your own. Four ways to access Google Contacts. First, you go to the Waffle. Open a new tab in your Chrome browser by pressing Control T. Click on the Waffle, and then click on Contacts. Let me show you what that looks like. I click on the Waffle, and I find Contacts. You can also click and drag and move these little apps around to determine what's the most important and where you want them. So go ahead and pause the video and try to find contacts in your waffle. Next, the second way is you can access it on the contacts website. So in a Chrome browser, press Control T for a new tab and go to contacts.google.com. Let me show you. Control T for a new tab contacts.google.com and press enter and there you are. Pause the video and try that on your own. The third way to access contacts is through Gmail. You can go to mail.google.com, click on the contact icon on the right when you're in an email and then click on the pop out button. Go ahead and try to access contacts in your Gmail. And then finally, the fourth way to access contacts is download the mobile app. So you're going to go download the, mobile, uh, the Google Contacts app on your phone or iPad, sign in with PBVU, and explore the app by pressing buttons for two to three minutes. Go ahead and pause the video and do that. If you want to add a new contact, go to Google Contacts. If you want to add a new contact, go to Google Contacts, click Create Contact, add, their, add the information, and then click Save. I'm going to go to Google Contacts at contacts.google.com, click Create Contact, Create Contact, and then type 
their first name, their last name, whatever company, job title, email, and phone. I also have some other information that I can add on that contact. Then I'm going to click Save. And now I have John Smith as a contact. Go ahead and pause your video and try to add a new contact. Next, I'm going to add contacts from the organizational directory. So I'm going to go to Google Contacts. On the left, I'm going to click Directory. I'm going to point to a contact and click that Add to Contacts icon. Let me show you. I'm going to leave that contact. As you can see on the left, I'm in Contacts, but I'm going to click on Directory. And in this directory, we have 32,000 accounts. So you may have a hard time finding what you're looking for, but if you do find what you're looking for, you can mouse over it, click the plus sign, and that will add it to your contacts. In the same way, you can search for different people and add them that way as well. So go ahead and take a moment to pause the video and add contacts from directory. Next, we're going to create group contacts. Create a new contact group label. So on the left, under labels, you're going to click Create Label, and then enter the name, and then click Save. Then you can check boxes next to each contact to select them. At the top right, click Manage Labels, and then choose what group or groups you want them in. For example, I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to go back. Under Labels, I can expand, uh, minimize or expand my labels. But at the bottom, I can click Create Label. I'm going to call this Fifth Grade Team. Click Save. And notice how I have a label that says Fifth Grade Team. And then I can search for my fifth grade partner. I can add her to the contacts, but I can also click the label and include her in the fifth grade team and apply. So go ahead and take a moment to create group contacts in your Google Contacts. And that concludes Contacts Basics. Thanks for watching.